Hello, everybody. Welcome along. My name is Benjamin Bloom. This is the Benjamin Bloom Football Channel. Please leave your bias at the door and join us for a watch along tonight. And I don't want to go into salesmanship mode and put this game over too much, but a very, very big, big game tonight in the championship. Swansea versus Brentford and the possible narrative is one of these two teams lays down a very, very big marker in respect of the automatic promotion chase. Uh, you probably don't need me to tell you, but I will. And we'll have a look at the top of the table. Third versus fourth. Um, a good result for both last night with Watford drawing against Millwall and either of these two teams, both in very, very nice form, could go up into second position. Check the goal difference. Yes, Brentford can. Um, and hopefully, they're both going to go hell for a leather at each other and we're not going to get um, them both cancelling each other out. Although that is obviously a possibility, whether they both say, OK, you know, we'll scratch this one off and we're, we're both happy with a point and we'll we'll decide who's going up, uh, possibly, um, elsewhere. But should be a really, really good game. Let me know that you can see me, hear me loudly and clearly. Um, say hello in the chat. Get me your predictions. Difficult one to call. We had lots of draws. I think I was on a draw as well in the preview show. Um, let's do our plugs and then we'll get into the teams and then we'll get into your comments and your predictions in the chat. First and foremost, uh, we are on a watch along. So we say thank you to Charlie Frost, who is our sponsor for the live watch alongs. Uh, 30 years of loyal royal. Here's to many more. Uh, Charlie's a Reading fan. So he like, uh, Norwich fans, Bournemouth fans, anyone near the top, we hope for a draw in this one and both teams to avoid scoring three points, let's just say. Um, now, more important than ever, this game is not on TV. So um, for the entertainment of our wonderful subscribers, I have dropped the princely sum of £10 on Swans TV. I've got my laptop down here. I'm slightly concerned that it's just been playing adverts for the last... Um, if anyone's got Swans TV, let me know. Um, it's been playing adverts for the last 10 minutes since I logged into... Um, my stream, but um, hopefully uh, we'll be watching on Swans TV when we kick off at seven. So super chats, um, get me to even break even on on this one. You can support anytime during the show via super chat. First super chatter wins the king of the bin, the fake news sim bin sponsorship. You can also support via Patreon, www.patreon.com um, slash Benjamin Bloom. That's building nicely um, over there. And of course, if you're on YouTube, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Facebook, hit that thumbs up, whatever icon that says yes. Um, and uh, subscribe, ring the bell, especially on YouTube. Most importantly, as ever, is your knowledge one, your opinion two, and your balance and your reason in the chat. We really, really want you to get involved. Let's have a look at the teams in this mighty top of the table clash tonight. Is it fair to call it a top of the table clash when neither of them in the top two? Let's call it a top four clash, but it's going to be very, very revealing. Woodman in goal for Swansea, the Newcastle Loney. Uh, Norton, Cabango, Gway across the back. We, we almost don't know what the Swans' best back three is. They've used Bennett. Um, they've used Latter Bodier as well. That looks decent. Norton, Cabango, Gway are the three tonight. Bidwell and Roberts, we've been very impressed with, um, both putting up good numbers in terms of defence and attack, provide a good balance to the team. Um, I was going to say Bidwell also good in the air on the back post, but so is Roberts for his size as well. Fulton and Grimes are now joined by Connor. Hurahan making his league debut for the Swans. Um, he's done well in this division before. Last time he was here, he was promoted with John McGinn and Jack Grealish in that Dean Smith-Aston Villa midfield. 
he's not a number 10. So don't um, don't expect, um, I don't know, Raquel May or uh, Valeron for you 90s football connoisseurs there. Um, but expect a very good player in that position. We just want to see about the balance because it was really nice with Fulton and Grimes. But good players are good players, aren't they? Uh, Lowe and Ayu up top. Ayu, we know his quality. Lowe is now proving his and developing in from a winger to a striker and shutting me up, saying week on week they need to sign a striker. There is your Swans team. Let's have a look at the subs for the Swans. Uh, Hamer, Latibodier, Manning, Bennett, Strong, Williams, Dander, Cooper came on, got his first goal in the FA Cup. Morris, a new signing from the Seattle Sounders, who is apparently a pacey striker, and Jordan Garrick. Brentford. Well, um, and unless hell freezes over, Brentford will play a 4-3-3, won't they? Uh, Raya in goal. Dalsgaard, Pinnock, Henry are three of the normal back four. I can see the Liberty Stadium now on my laptop. Unbelievable scenes here. Let's make that full screen. God, it looks cold. Um, Mads Beck Sorensen is likely to be in this team for a while now with Pontus Janssen injured and um, returning, quote, for the running, whatever that means uh, from the Brentford communication. De Silva returns after his suspension, must be from the red card against Hoiberg in the Spurs game, mustn't it? Janelt and Jensen, uh, Norgard, uh, Marcondes not in that midfield. And Buemo, Tony, Canios. There is the front three. Godos got used a little bit deeper um, last time out. So options there. The bench for Brentford, Daniels, Stevens, Rasmussen, Zamborek, Haygarth, Force, Fosu, Godos, Gilbert. Dare I say Swan's bench a little bit stronger, I feel, in terms of changing the game tonight. We've already had a look at the league table. So why don't we have a look at your comments? Let me just spell this out. Um, obviously, I'm not using the TV. So I've got Burnley and Villa on there now. But with our dearly departed hats on, we must switch that to Brighton and Fulham at half past seven. So we'll have that on um, in the background. Maybe we can have a look at that game at half time. Big game in the bottom of the Premier League. There, let's go to your comments um, and say hello over there. Oh, wonderful. Uh, oh, God, we got loads of super chats. Thank you so, so much. This is so kind. Um, we need to say a thank you to Brican, half of the, the so, so kind of you um, guys. I'm always happy to invest in the channel and your support um, means that we have broken even on this. Um, fantastic. Brican, very, very kind. Carl, thank you. A one pound super chat there as well. Um, and uh, Steve was not only our first super chatter there at 9 99 um, Sensational. Thank you. That's essentially paid for the stream for us to do this. So kind. He's also the king of the bin. Thank you so, so much, Steve. And if I spotted correctly here, uh, wonderful. <laughs> we can put somebody into the fake news sim bin. There we go. Thomas says, this guy is anti-Swansea. Uh, Thomas, you are full of SHIT and you can go into the fake news sim bin. Sponsored by Steve for tonight. Very, very kind. Thomas, pee off. In he goes. We'll hear from Thomas in five minutes or hopefully never, ever again. But what are you going to do, guys? Hey, what are you going to do? Let's have a look at your comments here. Uh, come on, Swansea, says Frank. Uh, Chris is watching Villa at the moment, who are leading, by the way. Um, lots of Villa fans confident. I predicted a draw in that one, so um, I could be wrong on that tonight. Uh, you read, says Hal, who's going to no doubt be watching this one. Uh, time to take our auto spot back and make these games in hand matter. That will be the um, plan for Brentford. Uh, evening to Liam. Uh, James, happy hump day. Really looking forward to this grand great. Thank you, James. And thank you to the um, kind people who've essentially covered the cost of the stream here. 
Remember, I am on an internet stream, so there may be a small delay. Um, but tonight of all nights, I would urge you to sync up if you are watching. However, this game is not televised, so there won't be many of you ahead of me, um, I would have thought. Uh, hi to Ian, um, who will be following Rotherham for us, hopefully, tonight. Uh, Chris says, come on, Brentford. Uh, hi to Joel. Hi to Carl. Upper Swans, says Jack. Good mix of um, Swans and Brentford fans in here. Love this. Uh, evening to Carl. Thanks again for your super chat, matey. Bees, bees, bees. Uh, thank you, Steve. And again, I'll flush that back up. Thank you so much for your super chat. Very, very kind. Uh, one nil Swans, says Carl. Uh, draw or Swansea win, please. That's not a prediction, Richard. That's what you're hoping for, isn't it? Um, I have a bottle of Banrock Station Cabernet Sauvignon Shiraz Reserve. Very nice. I have a very, very boring pot of tea tonight. Um, I'm trying to uh, limit the consecutive day drinking. So, Right, what are you guys saying as well? Chris, 1-1. One, one. Realistically, hoping for a 2-1. Uh, Hal says 2-0. Bees. Uh, Liam, 1-1. One, one. Paul, 0-0. Nil, nil. That's the doomsday, isn't it, Paul? Let's hope um, they don't cancel it. It is a possibility, and it does look like it's hammering it down with rain. Um, it'll probably come on when it's like five minutes till the game, says Harry. Yes, it has kicked in. Thank you. Uh, neither team will play for a draw, but it may well end up one. Very, very true. Uh, Chris. Um, Burnley nil, Villa one. Villa outstanding. Uh, should be at least 3 nil up. Excellent. Uh, Louis, excuse me, is here. Yeah, this guy is pro football. I think that was in response to the ridiculous claim that I'm anti Swansea when I spend every week praising their manager and their team. Absolute ludicrous nonsense. There we go. 2 0 Swans. Uh, hi to now. Upper Swans. Uh, Hurahan, AU, and Rico Henry to score. There we go. More monitors. They're everywhere, bits. Um, my best friend, Mick McCarthy. Um, he's off to Barnsley, isn't he? Come on, Swans. There we go. No swearing tonight. Yes, sorry. I did let go an S-H-I-T bomb last night. Sorry. Um, well done for spelling that word. Sorry. I apologise for those of a nervous disposition, offended by my accidental potty mouth. I think I was provoked, wasn't I? If I remember correctly, um, I think someone had besmirched my uh, character and slandered me in a very disrespectful way. Evening. AJ is going to be happy with the villa. Uh, Chris is allowed to say that. I am not, but it is heavy rain at Swansea. If Swansea win, Brentford can't catch them with their game in hand. Yeah, what will the gap be if um, Swansea win? That's a reasonable point. Uh, Brican? Uh, yeah, so the gap will then be uh, a four-point gap with the one game in hand. Brentford, obviously, three games in hand. Um, I suppose it's more pertinent... Um, as it pertains to every team other than Swansea, isn't it? Uh, so two games in hand on Norwich with um, a nine-point gap. My God. Uh, one game in hand on Watford with a three-point gap. And then uh, two games in hand on both Reading and Bournemouth with, um, well, they're equal on points with Reading in a two-point league. Yeah, uh, good point. It does... It does mean that draw is not the end of the world for either of these teams, given um, given how the table looks at the moment. It's very, very wet um, there. Sorry, I'm normally looking this way. I'm going to be looking this way tonight. There is Andre Ayew. Um, and who is our referee tonight? It looks like we are about to kick off. Uh, referee Brooks tonight. Um, the Brentford team get out of their huddle. Let me just bang through all of these. Uh, Paul, thank you, um, legend. Nearly lose the best result for anybody down to about 18. Thank you so, so much. Very, very kind. Thank you guys for all the uh, super chats. I didn't want to sound like I was um, begging, but you've covered the cost of the um, Swans TV for tonight. So um, tremendous stuff. Very, very kind. Might have to look back at this. There isn't one, Ewan. It's complete fake news. I didn't swear. I came to see more swearing. <laughs> um, let's quickly fly up a few more of these comments. And um, sorry, we're going to go on through. Um, and um, let's get into this. Right. 
Um, is anybody watching on a stream? If so, say now and you can sync up with me. If not, if you're watching Premier League on BT, let me know what you're watching and keep me updated with that as well. Um, I am 28 seconds into my stream and um, we'll do a proper time check. Uh, wine choice is a cup of tea tonight. <laughs> um, Paul, I was... I was on the razzle last night. James is watching Chelsea versus Wolves. Is that um, Thomas Tuchel? Is he um, in the dugout for that one? Uh, throwing down the left-hand side for Swansea. Uh, Bidwell looking for Ayu. Uh, cleared. Um, headed back. Uh, Ayu flicks it on. Uh, Pinnock there gets it clear. Turned over in the midfield. Grimes has got it. Uh, here's Gway, and uh, Swan's just getting a hold of the ball early on in this one. Cabango's got it in the centre circle. Uh, it looks like Brentford uh, happy to sit in shape just for this first minute or two. They've got everybody back behind the ball. Grimes comes short to get it, gives it away. Can they pounce now? Canios to Tony. Here come Brentford, four on four, if they can work this. De Silva um, in to Jensen. It's just blocked out by Gway. Hurahan knocks it back to Cabango, who clears. Little trap laid there in the first instance by Brentford. And, um, well, we just hope this rain clears up a little bit. Um, foul there, Cabango on Tony. Free kick for Brentford. And I suspect, given the conditions, this might go into the box. Remember the um, Brentford, not Brentford, the Swansea game at Barnsley, where Swansea adapted their play very, very well to cope with awful conditions and an awful pitch at Barnsley. Right, it looks like Mbwemo and Jensen are over this. So Mbwemo would be the left-footed option, which would be an in-swinger from the right. Jensen, the right-footed option, obviously the out-swinger. Looks like they kicked off at Burnley. Keep your eyes on that if you can. Uh, Jensen plays that one in short. Dalsgaard uh, is poor. It's going to try and be a rehearsed one, but Swansea uh, had that one scouted. Here's Rico Henry out on the left. Obviously, this was the playoff semi-final last year, or last season, uh, that Rico Henry was controversially sent off in, and then the red card was rescinded afterwards. Roberts in the right back spot. Nice switch of play by Roberts to Bidwell. Uh, a bit of space in front of Bidwell. Knocks it into low. Uh, Hurihan looking for Ayu. Uh, Ayu just overcooks that and De Silva has gone past Hurihan. Hurihan is many things but a physical midfielder he is, he is not. Very much a, a ball player, Conor Hurihan. Grimes does well then to win the goal kick off Mbwemo, let's have a look at your comments. I'm offended that you don't swear more. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. <laughs> uh, we have kicked off at Borough. Um, should just quickly line up our championship games, uh, shouldn't we? Um so tonight, if we go to the split screen, uh, we have Coventry and Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, they're five minutes in there. Middlesbrough versus Rotherham. Barnsley versus Mick McCarthy's Cardiff and our game here. So four games tonight. And we'll leave that there. Uh, long ball forward into the channel from the Swans goes out of play. And it's a Brentford throwing in the right back area. Four minutes, 45 gone in this one. Sorensen to Henry, back to Sorensen. And all the way back to David Raya. Uh, knocked in short for Yanel in central midfield. Uh, Brentford just keeping the ball in their own half. Swansea not interested in pressing them. Uh, both sides playing the occasion and the um, 
the the, the rain, the conditions at the moment. Not a lot of risks being taken thus far in this game, which could make it even tighter than um, we suspected. Tough game, says Billy. Uh, Swansea all the way, says Neil. Nothing wrong with the occasional curse word, lad. <laughs> nice. I, I, I heard that in a northern accent. Uh, what McCarthy thoughts, Ben? My thoughts on McCarthy? Uh, he'll probably win one nil with a seventy-first minute goal from a set play, and annoy his hometown club once again. Pinnock on the edge of the box plays that out to Dalsgard. Dalsgard's going to play the channel here. It's not a bad ball actually, and Buemo has got goals no, just held up there by Gray, but he's still got it. And Buemo, good play. Plays back into central midfield. Janel controls a difficult pass. Janel into Tony. That bounces back. Oh, good slide in tackle there by uh, Fulton. Ayu plays that wide to Roberts. And I'm going to say this a lot of times tonight. Uh, Brentford back in shape. Swansea back in shape. I think there's going to be a... If they're going to beat you, make it hard for them, at least, um, mentality here. Pinnock. Could be set plays, couldn't it? Brentford very inventive from set plays. And Swansea have Hurahan now, who's got a beaut of a left foot from a set play, hasn't he? Uh, De Silva plays that to Sorensen. Seven minutes gone in this one. Very tight. Nothing in it so far. Oh, played into the channel now, and Rico Henry's got in behind. He's going to cross that one first time. Nice looking ball, that. Bidwell on the cover, heads it out. Uh, Hurahan is back helping, and Grimes gets it clear. It hits Janelt. Uh, it's broken. That's a nice, very clever ball by Jamal Lowe now. And they've got a bit of um, a breakaway here. Roberts down the right-hand side. Roberts crosses in, looking for Ayu, headed out by Dalsgard, and De Silva draws the foul. Uh, Swansea, excellent on transition there. Lovely hooked ball by um, by Jamal Lowe over his shoulder. It's crossed into the box. Um, dangerous looking stuff, but Brentford get it clear. Let's go, Jack Army, says um, James. Uh, Burnley have equalised, uh, says Annie. That's on the other screen. I'm seeing a close-up of Ben Mee, so I'm guessing uh, he scored. That may not be the case. Eight minutes and 20 gone. Played into Kanyos. He's not going to keep that in, though. Skids out um, off the turf. Uh, Kanyos explains. If you're going to clip it in there, it's going to skid off. Um, in these conditions. Uh, Smith just wide, says Ian. A uh, chance for Rotherham by the sounds of it up at Borough, who have lost their last two um, home games. Let me just update that to say the actual scoreline. Uh, clipped into the box and headed out by Gway. It's going to be a corner to Brentford. We've already spoken about the importance of set plays tonight in these conditions, given how tight it's going to be. First meaningful one goes to the Bees. Nine minutes, 15 gone. It's going to be a corner from the right-hand side, which Mbwemo will no doubt take left-footed. Pinnock up, Dalsgaard up, Sorens and Tony all gathered in the middle. What have Brentford got up their sleeves for this one, in it comes left-footed from Mbwemo. Uh, Tony was there, but it's headed clear. Henry can recycle it. Now, he's in a crossing position now on the left. In goes the ball from Henry, headed clear on the near post by, I think it was Guayhi. Uh, it's coming back in, though. Henry De Silva crosses in, cleared one more time. Uh, nearly broke for Rico Henry there, but... Um, a foul given there. Uh, it was indeed Ben Mee who scored the goal. As you can imagine from Burnley, it was a header from 
set play. Oh, very tight here. Ten minutes gone in this big game at the top of the championship. 1-1 uh, in the Villa game, says Alistair. Keep your eyes on that. Uh, go on, Rotherham, says Annie. Haven't seen Norwich win a game since the 16th. Started to have withdrawal symptoms. Uh, Barnsley goal disallowed due to a Woodrow foul. Interesting. Uh, 10 minutes, 48 gone. Pinnock at centre half. Uh, plays it across to the left to Sorensen into midfield to Janelt. That's a terrible pass by Janelt. And it's out for a throw. Complete unforced error there. Swans players run forward to try and get the march on Brentford here. Low pops that inside into the box. Uh, Bidwell's looking for Hurahan. That's poor. Um, and Brentford have it back. Yanel, that's a dreadful pass by him. Um, maybe a couple of passes that in better conditions would have been completed, not being completed here. Uh, Brentford trying to play their way out um, here. So no um, no signs of um, any change of style um, given the rain. Yanelt moves forward into the centre circle, plays it to De Silva, um, wide right. He plays it back into Yanelt and De Silva back to Pinnock. I'm going to do this precarious thing with this god-awful teapot here where there is potential for me to spill tea all over my lap. Let's be very careful. Uh, De Silva down the right. This stresses everybody out when I do this, apparently. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, switch of play there. Looking for Rico Henry on the left. Roberts wins their header. Uh, Brentford attacking, throwing down the left-hand side. Knocked back in field. They've had to go into the centre-halves. Um, Brentford bossing the possession now this past five minutes. Probably just edging it, I would say. That's not to say that Swansea look uncomfortable, though. Uh, Janelt. De Silva. He's got Delsgaard outside. He plays it into Mbwemo. Uh, strong from Gray there. Wins it off him. And it's cleared by Grimes. Uh, Lowe tries to control it, but he can't. Out it goes. <laughs> I'm not doing it in the voice, but thank you. <laughs> My God. Can anyone imagine asking that question? Wow. Why is the A in watch along a capital if you've put it up as one word? Oh, my God. Deary me. Thomas, man, I wish I could give you some advice to get more subs because you really deserve so much more. We're happy here, Thomas. We are doing great, but that's very, very kind. Pause for 20 seconds, Brecan. All low into the box. Uh, slides in on Raya. Um, Dalsgaard was a lot more annoyed about that than Raya was as uh, reasonable challenge for the ball. What well, are my opinions on Ivan Tony so far this season? He's been excellent, hasn't he? A little bit quiet the last few weeks. So has Adam Armstrong, actually. Um, but, yeah, he's surprised me, actually, how quickly he's got up to not just championship level, but looking really good. Oh, and here he comes now. Tony, little slip there by Cabango. And Tony nearly stole in. Behind him there, just straight ball down Cabango's throat and he slipped in the wet conditions. Uh, Delsgaard with the throw in. Since I left Grimsby after saying I wouldn't, I've joined the grammar police. Anyone see the irony that he spelt since wrong in that chat there whilst he's criticising my spelling? <laughs> Unbelievable scenes. The great Benjamin Bloom doing more great content. Um, anybody worried about grammar or pronunciation? There's a worldwide pandemic happening. Get a grip and worry about something important, for God's sakes. Uh, here comes Dalsgaard stepping out of defence. 
De Silva. Oh, nice little step to beat Fulton, who's going to foul him. That might be a yellow card, actually. Uh, Fulton got done. Um, he holds up one finger. It doesn't quite work like that. I think he is going to get the benefit of the doubt there. Not much attempt to play the ball there. I think that's called a tactical foul, isn't it? A bit of S housing for you, Ben. Remember the other night, asked what it was like being below Atkinson in the league. <laughs> Find someone who was. It's wonderful, David. It's beautiful being underneath the lovely Andy Holt and Accrington Stanley. 16 gone. Uh, Brentford free kick down the right from Fulton's foul on Josh De Silva. Again, Jensen and Mbwemo. Standard fair here. Mbwemo, the left-footed option. Jensen, the right. Mbwemo in swing. Uh, Jensen out swing. It's going to be Mbwemo. No, it's not. Dummies. Uh, in by Jensen. Ooh, Tony got free. He might have been offside. Actually got a really difficult shot away there, Ivan Tony. It was straight at Woodman. I'm guessing Tony was offside or there was a push or a pull. Um, referee is Brooks, isn't it? Uh, gives the foul. Yeah, don't I actually think it was Tony who committed the foul. Um, but there was one. I've lived over 20 years with a name no one can pronounce. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure I'm guilty as well. Uh, my missus struggles with that. Armstrong still recovering from his 312 shots and no goals. <laughs> Deary me. Uh, played wide to Gray. He's stepped out from centre half now. Gray switches the play all the way out to Roberts. That's a good ball, that. Uh, Roberts touch inside. Fulton gives it in back. Grimes now. Brentford plenty back behind the ball, though, and Swans forced back to halfway where Cabango tries to switch now to the other side. Uh, less effectively, Dalskar jumps with Bidwell. <laughs> I think the term is leaves one on him there without uh, without committing a foul. Lesotho. I'm a long-time lurker of the channel, but you're my go-to place for champ content, even if I'm from north of the East Anglian border. Lovely stuff. Um, thank you, Lesotho. We're all friends here with our bias well and truly left at the door. Eh? Dalsgaard uh, in the right back position, coming up halfway. Um, everybody drink. Swansea back in shape. And this tight game rolls on. Pinnock to Janelt. Uh, the Swansea press is not triggered until... Brentford cross the halfway line. So it's a it's a sort of mid-ish low block um, from Swansea. Good defensive side. I'd argue best balanced um, in terms of attack and defence in the league. There's other um, sides who are more defensive, other sides more attacking. Swansea seem to have a good balance, don't they? Uh, Brentford win a throw-in down the left, which Rico Henry is going to take. He gets it back off Kenyos. Kenyos comes short. Kenyos trying to fill Said Ben Rama's shoes, rather big shoes to fill this season. Uh, hoping in the summer we have fans back in grounds. Might just be the dreary weather. Don't like getting used to seeing empty stadiums. We are getting used to it now. Um, how's the missus doing? She feel better. Thank you, Alistair. Yeah, she's. Um, She's all good. 1-0 Barnsley. What's Mick going to think of that, hey? Uh, here's the silver. Uh, Hurahan hooks that one clear down the line. And there is just nothing in this game for either team. Uh, both sides look very, very solid and organised. Uh, Mads Anderson, the goal scorer, says, JL, thank you. I fear for Sheffield United tonight. I've feared for Sheffield United for many nights this season. Um, Ryan, you know, away at Manchester United, aren't they? Let me stop clicking that pen. That'll get old very soon, won't it? P. 
Kinnock. Huge long ball forward. And they're actually in behind here. Henry hits the shot low just wide. Oh, it might not get better than that in terms of chances tonight. It was just a huge ball forward by Pinnock. And it's very sensible tactics here from Brentford because if Swansea are going to sit behind the ball, why not just launch the um, fullbacks forward? Hits it across the goal. That's missed by a foot. Um, so close there, Brentford. Best chance of the game by miles there. And it was just a long ball down the ground. Brentford reacting well to Swansea, just sitting off a little bit and forcing the first real opening of the game there. Rico Henry, good chance that and didn't hit the target. Um, did the first bit beautifully, controlled it, but then couldn't make it count. 21, gone. And that's a bit of a warning shot for Swansea. If they do sit too deep, the um, Brentford in direct mode there were very dangerous. Here's Mbwame down the right. Dalsgaard overlaps. Good ball into the box by Dalsgaard. Looking for Tony. Falls for Jensen. Jensen sorts his feet out. Oh, he had Canyos free on the left-hand side of the box. A really good spell for Brentford here. Um, it's Canyos. Inside hits the shot. It's blocked out. It's going out for a corner. Um, Brentford on top now. 22 gone. And certainly the last three or four minutes, Brentford just turning the screw in a pretty tight game, this one. Uh, Blake wants to see Jordan Morris. I think we're all intrigued as to what this American international is going to do. Uh, second corner here, Bits. Uh, both for Brentford so far. Uh, in it goes to the back post, headed back by Dalsgaard. Henry on the edge of the box. He's had loads of touches, Henry. Uh, De Silva and Buemo puts it in looking for, uh, I think it was um, Sorensen on the near post. It's a throw into Brentford, and they're actually not scared of taking a long throw in. And yeah, Sorensen's going over to take this one. And the last. It's getting up to four or five minutes now. Brentford have looked really good, actually. Um, lots of territory and that one big chance for Rico Henry. In goes the long throw to the near post. Ayu heads that one away and <laughs> heads it up in the air and then wins the second ball there. What a machine. Um, Ayu is there. Good defensive work by um, Andre Ayu. Uh, the big boot forward there. Freddie Woodman gathers it. And Swansea will be pleased now to just hold on to the ball, push Brentford back a little bit and um, kind of calm the sort of, I won't say swathes of attack, uh, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, Ian's having a lovely old time. Watching um, Rotherham, I think Jack Grealish must have just scored. He's got a huge smile on his face on the other screen there. Yeah, Burnley 1, Aston Villa 2, 68 gone in that one. <laughs> Dean Smith looks like he's lost a tenner despite the fact his team has just scored. I'll just keep an eye on this. We'll have a look at the goal. Uh, Cash to McGinn, uh, target back to McGinn, uh, through to Grealish, little faint. Slides it into Douglas Louise. That's a great goal. Uh, lovely stuff from Grealish. They are 2 1 up. Swansea free kick now. Uh, just level with the centre circle. But I think they're going to put it in the box. I don't blame them, really. Caban goes forward. Brentford holding a really high line here, literally sort of 30 yards out. Uh, Cabango wins the header, actually. Uh, Pinnock wafts his foot at it a bit dangerously there but Brentford clear Rico Henry big boot forward Tony great climb there against Cabango but couldn't quite flick it on to um and Buemo, who was up with him Dalsgaard Dalsgaard plays that one into Pinnock in the center back position uh wide it goes to Henry 25 10 gone in this one missing Ryan Bennett 
and it shows, it says Brican, whose name I probably just butchered, um, again, uh, Grealish fantasy points. Nice. Um, Journeyman, we will pop um, at half seven. We'll pop Fulham and Brighton on on the other screen. Uh, here is Dalsgaard. Dalsgaard into Pinnock. Pinnock to Sorensen. Um, I'm just going to throw the numbers up real quick on here. And they won't make very nice reading if you're a Swans fan, actually. 38% possession for Swansea. Uh, no shots, no corners. Um, and Brentford sort of 74 passes ahead. Um, that hasn't gone down on Sophie score as a big chance for Henry. I guess the angle maybe. Um, but you would certainly be happier where you're a Brentford fan. And here they come again. Jensen, Henry down the left. Henry, nice cross in. Oh, goodness me. A even bigger chance there. Brian and Buemo heads it over the top. I can only think Ivan Tony jumping in front of him put him off. Oh, he's got to hit the target there. To be fair, he's outside the line of the goal. So he would have had to probably head it back a fair way across the keeper. But he doesn't even hit the target now. So Mbwemo, unchallenged header there, didn't hit the target. Henry, in behind, didn't hit the target. Goodness me. Ben, I can confirm Keith Bell is definitely a Millwall type player. Impressive debut last night. Uh, is Rico Henry the best left back in the league? Looks a hell of a player, always impresses. Um, I I get fed up of best in the league because um, that gets trotted out a lot, Lesotho. What I will say is he's very good. He's very, very good, um, Rico Henry. And I suspect uh, there would have been more interest um, or more sort of chance of him leaving in the summer had Ben Rama and Watkins not been there. But those were the sales. Uh, here comes Canyos down the left. Uh, Canyos puts that one in. Tony arriving late. He's got it in the box. His cross takes a deflection. Oh, and two Brentford players get in the way of each other on the back post. Dalsgaard and Mbwemo. The cross took a big deflection there. Um, Dalsgaard almost fell over Connor Roberts and then Mbwemo couldn't really get anything on the ball. Hashtag end of story. We'll get one, James. What else do we add in? Um, it's not even a debate. There we go. Um, Daz, I'm just going to block you for five minutes buddy just calm down okay I think you've misjudged what we do here so you can come back in five minutes but just calm down in the chat yeah um we don't want the um kindergarten business that I'm seeing in the chat there it's not it's not really what we do here uh here is Mbwemo edge of the box edge of his own box that is and here come Brentford again on the counter uh De Silva the silver down the right. Uh, Gray's holding him. Yeah, surely a foul was going to get given. Uh, referee Brooks tried to give an advantage. But in the end, the foul's given. And I think uh, Brentford are going to put this in the box. Thank you, Leeds 2021. Does that mean I've got to change channel now? We will flip over because uh, there's a big game in the Premier League for our dearly departed. Uh, involving Fulham and uh, Brighton. Very big game at the bottom of the league there. And a Brighton win would really leave a tall task for any of the bottom three to uh, get out as we look at it. Uh, another free kick, um, right-hand side-ish. Uh, we seem to have had three or four of these now for... Um, Brentford, Jensen. <laughs> uh, Jensen trying the trick that was done to Brentford in the playoff final there by Joe Bryan. Everyone runs for a back post uh, cross and um, Jensen shoots for 
the bottom corner. Where am I watching this game, Morgan? I'm in Bedfordshire, mate. Bedfordshire. I think you mean I'm watching. I'm watching on Swans TV, my friend. Thirty minutes gone. Thrown down the line by Roberts. Flicked on by Ayu. Uh, Rico Henry tries to uh, come away with it. He's going to win a free kick here. Uh, Brentford continue to. What word can I use? Um, not not boss the game, but they are they are the better side here in this game. Chances, big chances for Rico Henry. And Brian and Buemo in particular. Got family your way. Was born in Luton myself. Nice. My missus works in Luton. Uh, Ian is absolutely loving um, Rotherham and <laughs> Borough for us tonight. Uh, fed into the box looking for Tony. Goes all the way through to a Woodman. Uh, Brighton Fulham will be a draw. Um, doesn't want to say who's going to win. Uh, they've played two minutes down there in, what is it, Farmer, where the um, Brighton Stadium is. Do you know, I've been past it and never never actually been to a game at, at the new Brighton Stadium. Uh, Raya gathers the ball right on the edge of his area. Fabian Bartes style. Uh, he loved um, He loved to nearly handball it. Uh, we have got a Burnley goal, you guys are telling me, so I should probably just flip channels uh, one more time. Oh, Raya has given it away to Ayu, but Lowe fouled him there. Goodness me, close call there um, for David Raya in the goal. Let's just have a look, see if we can check out this Burnley goal that makes it 2-2. Two -two. I've missed it, guys. Not like me to be too slow with the remote, is it? Deary me. <laughs> Leo says, Ben, what's so excited about the championship? <laughs> He's never watched it, has he? <laughs> Burnley are on a rampage after that Liverpool win. Sensational. Uh, Skipper says, for once, you're actually 30 seconds behind me. You on I follow Skipper. I'm on Swans um, TV. Or... Yeah, Swans TV, it's called. Uh, Dwight McNeil. There we go. Huff and Puff is what you're looking for. Re Brentford. They're definitely on top, aren't they? As a Norwich fan, the current score is good for us. Hopefully it stays a draw. <laughs> uh, first world problems there for the Norwich fans. Miles clear at the top of the table. It's into the edge of the box. Hurahan right-footed. Probably the best opening so far for... Uh, Swansea wasn't really a good opening. You would have hoped it would come to him on his left foot, but he was easily blocked out on the edge of the box. Here is Bidwell. Uh, Bidwell inside. Low. And Low is offside. I follow yesterday. Showed a slow-mo replay of the same incident three times and led to a complete uh, passage of play missed. You gotta love the eye follow, right? Everybody panic. I'm not gonna spill it, I promise. Comes out so blooming slow. When you get to this little tea in the pot as well. Sorry, you probably can't hear me because I've got my hand in front of the mic. It gets cold very quickly. So uh Janelt. Swans with their first sort of half effort on goal there. Blocked on the edge of the box from Connor Hurahan. <laughs> Slipping in gin and tonics. Nah. I admire the way Brentford play. I think most of us do, don't we? Lovely, lovely um, football team to watch. We've enjoyed them thoroughly. I'm sure we'll lose them to the championship, won't we? Um, in the next year to year to three years time, um, if not this season. Uh, here is Dalsgaard. Uh, 
Here is Raya. It's all the way back with the Brentford goalkeeper. A little bit of a hospital ball there by Jensen. Pinnock just boots it forward and it hits to Silva. Uh, Canyos, he's robbed. Hurahan knocks it back to Grimes. Can Swansea launch what's pretty much a rare attack in this half? That's poor from Grimes. Tries to play the channel. Uh, nowhere near the right pass for Bidwell. There. Oh, Christ. Burnley 3-2. Wow. Villa imploding. Do you know what? There's a Villa fan in the comments of one of my videos said he said he'd pay me a tenner if um, Villa did not win this game and they are now losing. Chris Wood. There we go. Uh, De Silva tries to slip and Buemo through. Cut out by Gway. Gway steps out, but then uh, thinks twice. Plays it back to Norton. Norton to Grimes. Grimes to Hurahan. <laughs> Hurahan puts his foot on the ball and says, slow down, let's just keep the ball for a minute. I was going to say they're not really... Um, in this game, but only from an attacking sense. Obviously, it's nil-nil and um, they're above Brentford in the league. But uh, that game in hand does uh, make a draw just that slightly bit more desirable, maybe, for Brentford. First game between these two were drawn. Uh, down the line, Ayu has it on the left wing. Ayu wins a corner off Pinnock. So first chance now really for Swansea to get right up the pitch, stick the ball in the box, get Brentford defending on the um, back foot now. Corner for the Swans. 37-40 on the clock. Lowe's tight in on uh, the keeper. Uh, it's gone short and back. Swung in right-footed. Raya catches that one. Easy. Good throw out by David Raya. Ooh. If Brian Buemo gets his first touch um, there, they're in. But he doesn't. Uh, it just goes away from him. Long goal kick and Swansea um, not utilising what territory they are getting as well as um, we've seen from them this season tonight. Brentford definitely have more control um, over uh, this game. Uh, nine minutes gone. Looks like Anguissa is down injured in the Brighton and Fulham game. Pinnock. Right, that's definitely going to be a yellow card for Hurahan this time. Uh, he's the second player to get skinned by Josh De Silva and just take him down. Um, Hurahan didn't do it quite as um, inconspicuously as Fulton did before. Um, I haven't seen the yellow card yet, but it's surely coming out. No? Well, that surprises me greatly, unless I missed that. Here is Janelt. Well, Swans TV are showing a close-up of Conor Hurahan, and I can't see what's going on in the game, so maybe he did get booked. Camera work, not the greatest there. Here's Hurahan. Uh, Hurahan to Grimes, who plays that one wide. Norton, Roberts, uh, Swansea further advanced than they have been here. Um, but Brentford back in shape and it goes to Cabango pretty much on the centre spot. Uh, and uh, Cabango goes back to Woodman. Uh, here's Grimes uh, through the lines there. Two good passes there, low and... Um, Roberts down the right-hand side. Lowe's got it again. Good football by Swansea. Uh, Roberts gets the ball into the box. Hurahan arriving. Cleared out to Gwaii. Gwaii clips it 
over the top. Oh, and like down the other end, two Swansea players in the way of each other. And probably best opening of the game for Swansea ends in nothing. Uh, not even a shot on goal. Uh, Hurahan gives away another foul. Dalsgaard's going to do a big switch of play there. Uh, Tony heads it on. And Rico Henry plays it up the line to Sergi Canios. Uh, was a yellow card. Yes. Thank you, guys. Literally wasn't shown on the coverage at all. It was the most yellow card tackle you'll ever see. Literally just put his arms around him and stopped him running. So um, I was surprised. Uh, nice feet by uh, Dalsgaard there. Skins Bidwell comes inside. Uh, he's looking in the middle of the box for Tony, who slides in. Just can't quite get a contact on it. Um, he's probably just behind the penalty spot there, but a good bit of skill by Dalsgaard in the first instance to make the space. Uh, no, if Tony had got a contact on that, um, decent enough chance. Here's the Swansea chance at the other end. Oh, no. So I think it's Fulton and um, Lowe. If Fulton just leaves that and they're both on sides, Lowe just chests that down and puts that in. Um, so, I mean, we can't call it a chance because it didn't result in a shot, but um, certainly a decent opening there. Uh, Hurahan is really struggling with the silver. He's been overdue. That yellow could be in danger if he continues. Well, Skipper straight after he fouled him again. Um, did you see? So we said about Hurahan, um, excellent player, technically very good, but um, he's not hes not your guy you would want defending against on running midfielders, put it that way. I like him um, very much. It's coming up half time now, 42.30 on the clock. Swansea nil, Brentford nil. Brentford, the better side for much of the first half. Rico Henry, big chance. Um, Brian and Buemo headed over the top. Uh, Swansea better maybe these last four or five minutes. Just slowed Brentford down a bit. Hurahan shot blocked. Um, and that ball into the box there where Fulton and Lowe get in each other's way could have been a really um, decent opening. Uh, free kick to Swansea. Uh, played short. Now it's popped into the box. Uh, Ayu, great leap, flicked on. Pinnock heads away. Yanel hoofs it up in the air. Uh, Grimes wins the header. Forward it goes. Oh, now we've got trouble. Um, oh, it's a yellow card. Oh, um, Tony and who is that? Cabango wrestling on um, halfway there. I'd like to see a replay of that. I think it's the right call. But if the ball had just had a slightly different line on that, we could have been... Oh, it's Norton, actually. Yeah, so it's... No, it was. Um, it's the right decision there. The ball is going away from Tony enough for that not to be a denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. If it had been in his line, Norton would be trotting off the pitch now, having got a red card, um, I will say. But um, I think referee Brooks has that one right. And another yellow card for Swansea. Here's De Silva from the free kick. De Silva just holds it up. Nowhere to go, so he pops it back into Raya. Um, Brentford have sent all their big guys forward here, although uh, Pinnock has now come back into shape, so it's not going to go in the box. Yeah, they're just going to keep the ball until everyone is back into uh, formation. Uh, Sorensen and Raya playing about with it. They're giving it away, actually. And Swansea have it. Uh, Grimes just plays that wide to Norton. Just received that yellow card for the foul on Ivan Tony. Uh, Roberts down the right. Roberts looking for low. Cut out by Rico Henry. Just coming up half time now. Uh, one for Tony to chase. He's not that quick. Um, and very helpfully. Uh, I don't know how much stoppage time there is due to be played, uh, but Swans TV has kept the um, has kept the clock ticking without showing us how much stoppage time there is. That could be fun. Um, 
at the end of the game, couldn't it? Someone will let me know in the chat, no doubt. De Silva plays it back to Dalsgaard. I'm assuming it'll be one, two minutes at most. Ooh, Rotherham one up. Nice. Uh, Matt Crooks. We said this, Ian, didn't we? Rotherham find themselves a goal scoring number 10. It'd solve a lot of problems. Thank you, Brickan. Can you just spell your name, write your name uh, phonetically so I say it right? Half time. Uh, really tense one, this one, isn't it? Um, took probably 20 minutes for us to get an effort on goal. Then Brentford came, I, I would say, well on top for 10 or 12 minutes from about 18 through to about... 30, really good chance for Rico Henry. That was just a ball down the ground from Pinnock. Um, good chance from Buemo, should hit the target with his header. And then and Buemo and Dalsgaard get in the way. That was the sort of purple patch for Brentford in terms of um, creating um, something. Swansea were better in the last 15 minutes, I think. Got up the pitch a little bit. They were basically defending between sort of 15 to 30, weren't they? Um, Hurahan, edge of the box on the right foot. If that's on the left foot, I'm I'm worried from a Brentford point of view. On the right foot and they make the block. Um, and then the opening towards the end of the half um, was probably the best moment for Swansea, wasn't it? Where uh, Fulton and Lowe get in each other's way. I'm going to rephrase that, where Fulton gets in Lowe's way. And if Lowe can chest it down, the form he's in, he's probably going to score. Um, let's have a look at the numbers. Uh, the CH sound can't be put phonetically. Do you know what? I watched the episode of The Crown um, last night with Shaley, where Prince Charles has to give the speech and learn Welsh and um, had a lot of respect for Welsh speakers there because that sounds like an absolute pig of a language to um, master. Let's have a look at the numbers, guys. I think they bear out what we've said. Uh, 40% possession, Swansea, 60 Brentford. Um, oh, crap. My mouse needs a recharge. Uh, yeah, that's never fun, is it? We'll do that in a minute. Um, this is the bit where you have to keep not using the mouse for two or three minutes at a time. So bear with me. 60% um, possession for Brentford, seven shots to one. Um, corners we're not too fussed about but two big chances to zero I'm thinking that is Rico Henry's chance and I'm thinking that is Brian and Buemo's header as well so I think the numbers bear out the eye test here that um, Brentford will be more comfortable with that but they haven't scored and Swansea so so good um, defensively aren't they um Let's have a look at the comments. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Balassi traveling to Middlesbrough. Warnock will love that, won't he? Uh, never seen such a negative Swansea performance at home for years, says Frank. Um, interesting. Uh, quality wise, this game has been really poor. Um, I don't agree with that, Joe. Um, I think it's hammering it down with rain. Um, maybe excitement wise, um, there's been less than you'd want, but it's very, very well poised. And there's been plenty of quality from Brentford, uh, believe you me, in terms of their um, passing. Uh, has this game lived up to its third versus fourth billing? Um, yes, it's very tight. Um, not a good start for Mick so far. Um, more swearing, no more swearing um, from me. Uh, Ian is watching Rotherham. Uh, dreadful match, but the Millers lead with Crook's first time volley after a cross was headed out. Crook should have scored earlier. Um, should have a look at the live um, league table briefly, not just because that will give me a chance to get some um, charge into the mouse. There we go. Let me just check. Can you all see me? This is a nightmare when this runs out. And it doesn't give you any warning. Just all of a sudden, oh, it will run out of charge um, very, very soon. So. Uh, as you can see, Swansea will move back into second should things stay the same. 
um, above Watford. And I suppose if you are Brentford and it is a draw, it's not the end of the world. You want your destiny to be in your hands and Brentford then know with a game in hand on um, Swansea and Norwich and two on Watford that their destiny is sort of still in their hands. So a draw, as I say, is not the end of the world for Brentford in this one. You can see Borough there looking at a third straight home defeat. They're losing at home to Rotherham. And uh, Rotherham, uh, I'm sure Ian will correct us in the chat here, could be two consecutive away wins, I believe. They um, beat Derby, didn't they, in the last away game? They've been awful away from home, Rotherham, literally for about three years of championship football, three separate seasons where they've basically um, not won very many away games at all. So looking good. Uh, Barnsley are giving Mick McCarthy not a very nice welcome back because they are leading. Um, Anderson was the goal scorer, I think. Um, I should have kept better tabs on that one. And you can see Mick's got a job on his hands there at Cardiff down in 16th. Uh, Coventry are playing Sheffield Wednesday. Um, we haven't heard anything from that game, so I'm assuming that one must be nil, nil. Let's have a look um, at your comments. Burnley wins, says Mark. Is it all over? That is not good uh, for me. We'll be covering that on Dearly Departed tomorrow. I have some disappointed Villa fans, I think. Uh, on the balance of play, chances created and Swansea booking sustained, stopping attacks. Brentford are worthy of being a goal ahead. All, all accruing up in uh, Chris's head there. Um, Swansea poor by their standards. I think we had some Swans fans that agree with you there, um, Chris. Uh, get Jordan Morris on at the start of the second half. Otherwise, it's another dreadful, slow and painful second half. Well, I don't think the issues are up top, are they, um, Frank? They've just been sat behind the ball for most of the half watching Brentford play. So you could have had Ian Rush and the original Ronaldo up top. But if they're just sitting watching, then... Um, doesn't matter who you got up there. Um, uh, looks to me a game of professionalism versus heart. Both worthy mindset. Um, if you're referring to Brentford as heart, CC, I'm sure they would profess to be being more than heart. Very um, cleverly constructed um, sort of team and system. <laughs> Ian says, oh, don't, Ben. Loads of time to cock this up. Ian, I'm going to say it now and you're going to tell me off. Let's hope not for another late goal against Rotherham. We've had uh, plenty of them. Uh, Robin says, Brentford, Watford, Bournemouth, Reading all have to travel to Norwich with the majority of Norwich's away games against lower teams. Yeah, I, I don't really think. Um, at the moment, Norwich aren't relevant in this conversation, are they? It's a, it's a play for second place. Unless Norwich have a horrible, horrible week when they play... They played Brentford, Swansea and somebody else in the same week. Um, once they're past that, if they're still seven points clear, it's, um, you know, may as well um, may as well plan for another championship there, I think. <laughs> Time for the incredibly biased halftime highlights. They are showing some Brentford chances here. They've not got much in the way of um, showing uh, Swansea uh, openings, have they? But... Um, Bruce looking more and more out of his depth, says Ryan. He's talking Premier League there. Uh, just lucky Wilson is a good player who scores goals. Could be a lot worse. Um, it's nil-nil between Brighton and Fulham. A uh, big punch there by Ariola. Um, Fulham defending a, um, a set play there. Here comes McAllister into the box. Tete half clears. They're pushing on here, Brighton. Looks like... Fulham under the cosh, I think. Uh, Speng says, uh, prediction for the second half. Um, I do agree with the commenter. I think we'll see. Um, just have a look at the bench, actually, in respects of the second half uh, predictions. Um, I agreed with one of the commenters about Hurahan. I think given the yellow card, if the pattern of the game stays the same, I think Hurahan won't last past the 60-minute mark 
in this one. I think it'll be too much of a red card risk. In terms of what they've got off the bench, um, I know Steve Cooper loves his back three, but he's a very clever guy. I wonder whether he'd even match up and actually change shape um, to kind of quell uh, Brentford. Because if you think about it, I mean, even look at it on paper. Let me just bring that up. If you've got three centre-backs sat behind the ball and your wing-backs get deep and you've got Brentford midfield players who are happy to come short and take the ball, there's basically a complete overload all the time in that deep central midfield area. And that's where Brentford are able to dominate from and launch their attacks. Um, whether you could chuck, I don't know, Dander in a bit further up, stick someone in that position, drop AU off or, or something of that nature or, or a change of shape. But if the pattern continues, it does very, very much favour Brentford, doesn't it? Um, in terms of B's substitutions, uh, you would... I mean, you'd be looking at Marcus Force. Um, actually, no, you wouldn't, uh, because that hasn't worked very well. That's looked unbalanced when Force and Tony have been on together in a three. So maybe Godos or Fosu might come on ahead of Force. And you know, Brentford, they always love a central midfield change towards, you know, the, the midway point of the second half. And that would be Zamburek, um coming into the centre of midfield. So those would be my predictions um, in the second half. Um, Swansea need to kind of get a hold of that slightly deeper midfield position where Yanel and De Silva and Jensen have just got an absolute ton of space and maybe just try and get five metres further up the pitch as a whole and they'll come into this. But it's nil-nil. Um, we're saying that Brentford are on top. It's nil-nil and Swansea are a good side. So um, what do we got here? Uh, Lesotho says uh, Swansea are going to have half of the USA cheering them on for the rest of the season with this Morris label. They can come and watch the stream then, uh, can't they? Uh, I think that is Trevor, isn't it? Uh, watching uh, Fulham don't see where the goals are. And they not only is this a game they don't want to lose, they could do with winning this one, really, couldn't they? So um, Fosu for Kanyos says, Chris, that would be uh, a sort of straight swap that we might see... Um, I know just to just to pep it up a little bit. It's, it's far more likely than Tony or Mbwemo stepping out of the game, isn't it? Uh, Ryan says, use the force. Yeah, he's a good player, isn't he? I just feel that as soon as they do that, all of that balance, they had a lovely balance with their front three last season. I know with um, Ben Rama and um, Watkins there, obviously, but force and Tony just banging together, taking up all the same central positions, um, aren't they? Uh, Mark, we've got Fulham and Brighton on on the other screen um, there. Um, amazing how people have been dictating who is going down since match day one. In theory, so much can still happen. Agreed, James. It's not decided on match day one, but we could have a situation where they're eight points adrift with just under half the season to go. And that incredibly low tide, it just looks like Brighton and Burnley have uh, just kept them all at arm's length, uh, doesn't it? Uh, Brentford should be 3 0 up if they finish their chances. Um, uh, well, if they'd finished every one of their chances, then yes, maybe. I, I think certainly um, one or two wouldn't have flattered uh, Brentford. Three, perhaps, that would have been highly efficient finishing, wouldn't it? Um, what else have we got here? Uh, Stephen says, currently Borough nil, Rotherham one. We'll change it in the second half. Here's to hoping for your stake, Stephen. Obviously, in the interest of balance, we've got Ian, who's always on here. Um, staunch Rotherham fan, so good luck to him. Um, I think at this point, Brentford or a draw. Swansea not looking... Um, no, those two outcomes look more likely, so Swansea would probably be happy with the draw. Um, I like our overall shape so far. I think we'll get something eventually. They haven't shown an answer to getting the ball in behind. Uh, who owns Brentford FC? Oh, God. What's his name? Uh, one of the betting guys, isn't it? Uh, I can't think what his name is. Um, who's Brentford's own? Matthew Benham. There we go. It came to me um, in the end. Uh, I think he's been there. He's ba Basically, since he's been there, they've been very, very successful getting up from uh, League One. 
I got there in the end, uh, Skipper. Uh, just watched Rico's attempt. He had no business being there. Can you imagine him playing on the left wing? I just think in modern football, Skipper, he'd be wasted on the left wing. He can do it from fullback. And you see the example of, um, you know, Liverpool and Robertson and Trent Alexander-Arnold uh, providing half of the attacking um, the attacking thrust. And even in the championship, people like Omar Richards or Max Ahrens or um, Rico Henry, they're expected to do the whole side um, like a Cafu or Roberto Carlos used to do back in the day, like, literally do the whole side of the pitch and the team could play um, narrow. Uh, Yannick Balassi. Didn't work out for him at Villa, did it? I remember seeing him play against Ipswich at Villa, actually. Um, you have to admire whoever's in charge of recruitment at Brentford. Not sure. Uh, the end. Yeah, they've got a whole team. It's fantastic recruitment, isn't it? And they're currently looking at Idris El Mazzouni from um, Ipswich. Much as I love Ipswich, I know where I'd rather be, but there we go. Um, I don't disagree. His quality at the back can't see us keeping him long. Well, one thing Brentford have always managed to do, which is the entire key to play in the championship without parachute payments is sell and improve. You have to sell and improve and not be scared to sell um, in that respect. Right, let's just have a, another quick plug session. Um, thank you as ever to our fan sponsor, Charlie. 30 years of Laurel Royal, here's to many more. He is the fan sponsor for our live watch-alongs. Thank you so much in the Super Chats. Um, I didn't want to sound like I was Oliver Twist with my bowler begging, but I've had to drop 10 quid on this stream and some lovely Super Chat has covered that within the first minutes. And Steve is our king of the bin. You can still Super Chat um, by way of supporting the channel. But thank you, um, everybody. Um, there were lots of requests to cover this game. Um, Sky didn't get the rights because it was obviously a weekend game that was cancelled and moved across. So uh, thank you very much to the Super Chatters. Uh, Patreon is the best way to support the channel, www.patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. We're going to build that up as we go. Ooh, chance at the back post there for Bobby Reed in the Fulham the game. Couldn't quite climb above his marker, but uh, Patreon um, is the key at the moment for the channel. Uh, YouTube, hit the like button if you're in the stream right now or watching on Facebook or Twitter. Most importantly is keep your comments coming in. We've got a great um, your, a great sort of um, ethos in the chat. And um, I like to think it's a little bit more grown up than uh, some chats we see on some channels. Um, uh, think of that what you will, but it's, it's been really, really good. And um, my finger is on the button to stop any kind of buffoonery in there. Also hit that subscribe button um, and ring the bell for notifications. We are off in the second half, uh, 45 minutes, 20, if you want to sync with me. Um, although I think I'm a little bit behind a couple of others who are watching on streams. Um, then, um, excuse me, let me know and I will do a time check. Jensen. Oh, Jensen's played that one through. Oh, Tony nearly gets in behind. Woodman sweeps up well, but it's a poor clearance by Woodman. De Silva uh, plays it slightly ahead of Brian and Buemo. And Buemo down the right, cuts that one back. Dalsgaard. Dalsgaard smashes it goalwards. Woodman, full dive on that one. And it's over the top. Good start by Brentford again. Uh, the initial ball, Woodman was very um, alive to the danger there. Uh, popped down the line to Henry, who's got the throw in now. Halfway inside the Swansea half. Henry's taking his time with the throw in. Uh, here is Sorensen. Pinnock.
turned over to Grimes, uh, deep central midfield. Here's Norton. Norton back to Grimes. Brentford back in shape. Grimes out to Gway, to Bidwell. Uh, who's going to play through the lines for Swansea? Uh, Gway switches the play. Roberts chest control on the right. Uh, Ayu plays it back to Roberts. Uh, all played round in a nice triangle there, but they've gone back to Cabango. Uh, Gway clips that one forward. Roberts is going to keep it in. Good ball by Gway. Roberts crosses from the right, headed away. Uh, Tony back, making a nuisance of himself, but Grimes has picked up again. Good spell of possession this by Swansea, nice and patient. Gway, uh, Cabango. Cabango down the line for Roberts, right out on the touch line. Roberts inside for Norton. Oh, it's the right pass, the right idea from Norton. AU applauds it because it was a nicely angled ball into the, into the box, but Norton just over hits it. 48-28 gone. Sorensen to Henry. Henry down the line. Uh, poor ball from Henry, who we praised at half time. Gives that one back to Woodman. A long diagonal there. And Henry's going to get that one clear. Pretty even second half, first five minutes. I think Roberts is going to put a long throw in into the box here. Swans didn't have that much attacking thrust in the first half, so I don't blame them for sticking a long throw in. Uh, here comes Roberts. Big throwing goes in and big header out by Pinnock. Grimes is going to play it back to Roberts. Good ball by Grimes. Roberts closed down by Mbuemo. Oh, tried to get it back. It's a really good challenge from Jensen. Um, Proper gets his body in the way and sends uh, Roberts flying perfectly fairly. Uh, Mbuemo now to Tony. Tony, good feet there. He's beaten Cabango. Oh, Fulton is now going to get a yellow card. Uh, complete um, <laughs> assault there on Ivan Tony. Tony, really good play there. So strong holding the ball up there. And I think that is the third player to be booked for Swansea now, Hurahan, Norton, and I'm going to have to check um, my numbers here. I think it's definitely the third. Uh, Norton, Hurahan, yeah, now and Fulton are all booked. 50 minutes gone. Free kick uh, to Brentford. As ever, and Buemo and Jensen over it. It's from the left this time. Swansea hold the high line. Uh, clipped in to the back post. Pinnock heads it down. Really good header by Kyle Norton there. If he doesn't cover that and smell the danger, Tony is sticking that in for 1-0. Good defending by Kyle Norton there. Corner for Brentford. From the right-hand side, so um, I'm guessing Mbuemo is going to pop this one in swinger. Uh, left foot. Here it comes. Jensen goes short. Looks like they've got something planned here. Uh, Canyos has gone to the edge of the area. Keep your eye on him. Decoy flicked on at the near post and onto the roof of the net from Ivan Tony. Uh, Brentford just taken charge a little bit again in the last couple of minutes. Although Swansea had probably their best sort of patient passing phase of the game prior to that and the first chance to stick a long throw in into the box. They won't get far with distribution like that from um, Woodman. 
Uh, Sorensen plays that back to David Raya. 52-13 on the clock. Swansea nil, Brentford nil in this big game at the top of the table. Fascinatingly poised, this one. Would be a big win for either. Not the end of the world for either to draw, though. And that will become more and more pertinent as the clock ticks down, one would imagine. Tony clips that one forward. Uh, good chest trap by De Silva. Uh, swarmed by three swans there. Good ball forward. Breaks the lines for Ayu. He is off side. Uh, haven't all swans yellows been for playing professional fouls? Yep. <laughs> The dark arts here, a couple of good tactical fouls, well, three of them now by um, Swansea. You've got to, got to, got to spread them out, though, if you're going to do them. Every team um, does it, don't they? Um, Benjamin Bloom, radio commentator. Seems like a good job for you. Well, get my name out there. Uh, crossing from the right, easily gathered by Freddie Woodman. Is it really Paul? 2-0 to Barnsley. There we go. Uh, Woodrow with the second. Barnsley two, Cardiff nil. Thank you for keeping us updated. Uh, James says Barnsley to finish in the top six. Um, not this season, I don't think, but impressed with them. Um, there's a club who knows how to recruit and punches their weight, don't they? As a stable system. Not quite in Brentford's league recruitment wise, but... Um, yeah, they've got a squad full of good players now. Um, Barnsley and a system, and they know what they want when they're hiring manager as well, don't they? Throw in down the right hand side, taken by Roberts. Ayu touches it inside. Um, quiet game for Andre Ayu today, although. Not anything he's done wrong. Uh, ball hasn't been in his um, area of the pitch too much. Uh, here comes Pinnock striding out from the back. That's a lovely ball by Pinnock inside the fullback. Looking for De Silva. He's found him. De Silva high on the right wing now. Uh, Bidwell stands him up. De Silva. He's one who gets out on the left foot. Uh, good ball. Uh, finds Rico Henry. Henry inside to Janelt. Uh, it's poor from um, Janelt. Second time he's given the ball away unforced today. Sounds like I'm being unfair, but it sticks out when it's Brentford because they do pass the ball so nicely. Uh, Tariq Fosu is coming on. Um, I'll make you laugh. A left winger or a right back. We've seen him play right back a few times um, this season. Uh, Brian and Buemo's coming off. So, Canios. May swap wings. Uh, we'll we'll see what Frank's. Uh, and Buemo went down um, a few minutes ago. Fosu comes on. Uh, what was the game we did where Fosu came on and it's a really good game? That's Bournemouth, wasn't it? Bournemouth Brentford. Fosu came on and scored the winner in that game. I suspect he'll go down the left, and uh, Kanyos will go down the right. First substitution of the day made by Brentford. Remember, in terms of Swansea subs, three players on yellow cards, Norton, Hurahan, Fulton. So two of the central midfielders. Uh, Roberts gives that one away. Tony sweeps it up. <laughs> Yanok gets a bit lucky there. Uh, Kanyos, who has indeed gone, uh, which is on the left at the moment. Uh, Henry. Henry crosses in with the right foot there. Uh, it's headed out, but Henry's got it back. Sorensen to Janelt. That's a better ball by Janelt. Over to the right-hand side. Uh, Brentford patient here. Pinnock back to De Silva. Uh, De Silva forward. Uh, given away. Yep, yeah, they've stolen it, Swansea. Now, can they counter? Three on three, if they can get through this. That's a really good tackle by Dalsgaard. Is it a foul? Or is it a throw-in? Jamal Lowe's not happy about something. Um, it's a throw-in, so I was right. It was a good tackle. Uh, throw-in to Swansea. 
Uh, they just take the sting out of it there. Again, it was another three or four minute period of um, Brentford sort of pushing forward there. Uh, offside, though, um, cheap one there from the throwing, I think. Can't have been from the throwing. You can't be offside from a throwing. But I think it was thrown in and then flipped forward and they were offside pretty much straight away. Oh, sounds like we've got a goal for Coventry, which could be very, very bad news for Sheffield Wednesday. And there's a gap opening at the bottom and Rotherham are winning, aren't they? Let me just bring up the live league table. Um, Dune there. And look at that. That goal and the goal at Rotherham and all staying the same, we'd put a four-point gap between Sheffield Wednesday and Rotherham. Obviously, a six-point gap that already exists will stay. Um, been talking about a bottom six, changing to a bottom five. That would almost be a bottom two there. Uh, launched into Bidwell there. He crosses it on the volley. Raya catches it. And now here come Brentford on transition. So Swansea not quite in shape, although the pass backwards and they now are. Uh, slid in to Jensen. Sorensen to Henry. Swansea back in shape. Brentford will look to try and um, gain some territory and try and keep the ball. Uh, Jim says, where was his comment? Killer goal against Wednesday. Coventry are dreadful. If we can't beat them, we are down. Cardiff have one back. Ojo, and it sounds like Gilcarez, um, who was on loan at Swansea, wasn't he? He scored for Cov. Um, who are Borough playing? Uh, Rotherham, losing at home, Russ. Uh, Gilcarez, who men's Many fans uh, wanted to sign. There we go. Oh, slid through. Big chance and save. Goodness me, Josh De Silva. Uh, the best chance of the game. But Brentford is still going. Uh, De Silva made the run from midfield. He drops to his knees. He should have scored. Uh, the diagonal run and the straight ball worked a treat there. Canyos uh, just clips it through. He's in. He's onside. He's got to score. Um, good play by Jensen. His first touch just takes him a little bit on the angle, but still De Silva on his left foot should be scoring that, should he? And to add that to Rico Henry's decent chance in the first half, that's two big chances for Brentford in this game that they have not taken. Corner, though, for the Bees. Uh, Jensen has to respot. That's not quite overhanging the line. 60 minutes, 12 seconds gone in this one. Jensen crosses that one in and someone's on their backside. I think it's Jake Bidwell. And uh, referee Brooks gives a foul. I've forgotten his name about 10 times today. It is referee Brooks, isn't it? We got today. John Brooks. Well, there you go. The irony of Gilkerez scoring for Coventry as Swansea struggled to create a chance. I think the issues are a little bit further back, but yes, the irony is uh, sweet if you're a Gilkerez. Uh, Fosu. Uh, Ian says, our gone, still winning. Poor. Another one of many Neil Warnock derbies in this league. Um, Yanel. Is that Yanel? Is down. Or is it Kenyos? It's not Kenya, so it must be Yenel. Uh, he's down hurt. Just have a look at the live league table, taking into account all of those goals. So Swansea will go second. Brentford will stay fourth. Um, and those two are done, <laughs> maybe until the playoffs. Uh, Borough losing at home again. Uh, strange quirk. They've been so good at home. Barnsley, after playing Swansea, Norwich and Watford um, in consecutive games, uh, are now winning against Mick McCarthy's Cardiff. It's back to 2-1, though. Coventry, wow. Going to go up to 17th on 29 points. They are nicely overshooting the point per game uh, that it takes to keep you safe. Might be a bit lower than that this season, 
I wonder if you look, uh, Wickham way off it, Wednesday way off it. Uh, maybe not Rotherham a, a point per game if they can win this game. 62 gone. Um, I'm assuming Yanel was okay. I was looking at the comments. I wonder if Tyndall could be the next manager to go if they lose to us Friday. I'm certain they'd be worrying a bit. I thought they would be running away with this league like Norwich. Well, that was the risk, wasn't it? That was the risk that Bournemouth took, as in keep it as similar and stable as possible and hope that the continuity sees you through. But um, Jason Tyndall is not Daniel Farker. Um, I'm, I'm sure he'll go on to be a good manager and I'm sure he's a lovely chap, but uh, that's what he's up against there. Um, and a team uh, and a club that was able and ready to spend and strengthen their squad. And Bournemouth just haven't signed anybody, have they? And sold all their big assets, or a number of their big assets. Still got a few left. Although King won't last the transfer window, will he? Anyway, Swansea Brentford, 63-24 gone. It's back with Raya. Will there be a goal in this one? It's tight. Be a very, very important goal, potentially. Uh, Tony steals that, and Tony's fouled again. Uh, he's he's a good player, Tony, isn't he? Um, he gets to the ball first. He's got good speed over a couple of yards, and then he's strong when he gets there as well. Um, you need that in the championship. You need that physicality as well as um, anything else, really. Uh, Canyos down the left, crossing position. Uh, puts it in to the back post, headed down. Uh, it's gone loose. Fosu picks it up. Fosu to Dalsgaard. Crossing position, right-hand side. Wins a corner. Dangerous moments again. Goodness me. Right. Do you think I can trust the mouse now? Having tried to charge it every two seconds. 64-25, corner, Brentford. Corner is going to be from the right-hand side. Remember, Mbwemo is not on anymore now. So they miss his set play. So probably Jensen will swing it outwards or not. It's going to be a left footer. In it goes, headed out by Ayu. Uh, headed back in and headed back out by Ayu. Uh, Fosu wrestling with low. Fosu sticks a foot out, does well. Um, and it's turned over. Andre Ayu has it. And it's back with Grimes, who's not got a lot of options here. So he pings it in the channel. And story of the day, really, for Swansea, gives it straight back to Brentford. And Swansea will be back, sat in shape, and Brentford will be um, in possession, which is the story of this match thus far. Let's see if the numbers agree with me. They most certainly do. 61% to 39%. One shot from... Uh, Swansea, no shots on target. Three big chances to Brentford, none to Swansea. I hate to tempt fate, Brentford fans, but you know how those numbers sometimes end up, don't you? The old smash and grab then happens, doesn't it? Which it would be at this point. Hamza says, you've got a fair bit of stick from Villa fans for predicting a draw in their game. Well... What what can I say, Hamza? What can I say? A good bunch of the Villa fans, but I was right. <laughs> and what an S house I am. 66 15 gone. Still no Swans substitution. So the three yellow carded players still on the pitch. Sorensen plays that to Janelt. Tries a big switch of play to Kenyos um, and uh, Norton just sort of backs into him and he's never going to win that header. We're having a nice shot of the rain at Swansea as Connor Roberts winds up to take the throw in. Down the line it goes. Loads of distance on that. Henry heads it. Up in the air, Yanel heads it down and it's cleared away. Uh, Gway heads it forward. De Silva plays it back to Dalsgaard. He didn't want it there, certainly not on the volley. 
Um, Tony tries a clever little flick, which if it had come off, it would have been a right overload, but couldn't pull it off. Now here comes Swansea and Fulton has got away down the right. Fulton crosses that one in. It was going straight to Jamal Lowe and I think it was Roberts who underlapped. Um, Jess takes it away from him. Oof. Uh, Greg says, put Morris in. They want the American in. Uh, <laughs> Skipper says, I'm fully aware. Thank you. Uh, played inside. Here is Kenyos. Kenyos is caught late there. Is that Norton? Oh, dear. I think we're about to get a red card. Um, Norton has caught Kenyos a second yellow. I was just saying the three players on yellow cards are still on the pitch. Well, one of them isn't now because um, Norton catches Kanyos. I don't think he can have any complaints. Second yellow card, Swansea down to 10 men. 22 minutes normal time to go. Brentford need to win this game now. They've been on top. Now they have a man advantage. Can they make it count? Uh, remember, there was a red card in the playoff semi-final. Kanyos uh, travelling with the ball, just releases it. Norton's late. It's a second yellow. He's inside the other half. He's on a yellow. Why is he making that tackle? For goodness sakes. When you're on a yellow card, you can't throw yourself in like that. You can't throw yourself in like that, even when you're not on a yellow card in 2021. You're only ever a millisecond um, from the red card. Red card, says Russ. Strange red, didn't see much in it. Yeah, I think for a second yellow, it's um, pretty understandable. That red's been a long time coming. Put in Morris. Hello from Seattle. Dirty swans, says the Gibbler. I don't think the ref's been bad, though. I disagree with that. Um, but we have had a few tactical fouls from the Swans. Everybody does it, though, before anyone says I'm anti-Welsh or anti-Swansea or whatever nonsense I got accused of um, earlier. Oh, Barnsley 2, Cardiff 2. Mick equalises. Crossed in. Tony heads that one over the top. Not an easy chance for Ivan Tony. Um, be interesting to see what Swansea do with regards their shape now. Essentially, they've lost a centre back. I wonder whether Bidwell will tuck in or whether they'll just go to a back four and they'll do the old school um, sort of 4 4 1 and just block up two lines of four and just defend. We'll see what Steve Cooper um, comes up with. Uh, low. I think he's handballed it, has he? Free kick to Brentford. Come on, Swansea, says Sam. Pinnock. De Silva. Yeah, so Swansea have gone 4-4-1. Jamal Lowe, who was a winger, has gone and played on the right wing. Um... It looks like Grimes is going to play down the left. Oh, nasty slip there. And uh, that's let Canyos in. Canyos crossing position now, moves into the box. Canyos crosses it, hits his own man, bounces to Henry. Henry crosses in low. Cabango uh, gets in the way and Fulton's got it and they're going to clear. Um, yeah, so Swansea, as I sort of thought, are just going to go 4-4-1. Grimes has gone left. Um, Lowe has gone right. Ayu's up top. On his own, they've gone to a back four, obviously Bidwell and Roberts moved back from wing backs into the fullback positions with Gwaii and Cabango, two centre backs. And it's going to be an attack versus defence training session, I think, for the last 20 minutes of this one. Steve says, take a nil nil now. I bet you would. John Fleck from an Ollie Norwood ping. Are you telling me Sheffield United are beating Manchester United? It 
72 minutes and seven seconds gone. Swansea pushing up the pitch now. It's a restart from Woodman, who's um, inside the D on the edge of the edge of his own box. He's just going to boot this one down the ground and try and get Brentford away from the Swansea goal. Are you good flick on? And um, they've won the knockdown actually as well. Uh, play down the line. Fulton down the right hand side. Can he keep it in? Yes, good play by Fulton. Crossing position now for Swansea. Uh, Fulton crosses, Henry clears. Uh, Fulton um, dives in there and um, concedes a, a throw-in. Henry takes the throw to Yenelt, who turns and switches the play to De Silva. De Silva plays that one forward to Fosu, comes inside Grimes. Uh, Swansea, in theory, are weak down the sides now if they've got Lowe and Grimes doubling up, covering their fullbacks against the Brentford wide players. We'll see how that pans out in the remaining now 17 minutes of normal time in this game. Pinnock. Pinnock down the right. Uh, it's going into the box from Dalsgaard. Woodman punches, chest down. Jensen hits the shot. Good save by Woodman. Jensen controlled the shot well. Half volley from the edge of the box. Woodman behind it. Jensen's got it again. Uh, the attack will continue. Jensen inside the fullback. Henry clips it to the back post. Poor ball by Henry. He's better than that. But Dalsgaard's going to follow it up on the far post. Dalsgaard clips it in. Fosu! And Brentford take the lead. 1-0 to the Bees. You cannot say that they don't deserve it. Well, you can say they don't deserve it. You would be wrong. And he's done exactly what he did as in the game against Bournemouth. Fosu comes off the bench and scores a header. And now that could be an absolutely key goal. Swansea down to 10 men. Really good climb. He gets above Cabango, actually, one of the centre-halves. Heads it down and into the corner. Well deserved by the Bees and Brentford lead 1-0 in this big clash in the top four in the championship. Get your comments in on what could well be a very big away win coming for Brentford. Swansea nil, Brentford 1, Tariq Fosu in the 74th minute. Wow. Let's go straight to your comments after I look at the live league table, which I'm sure will please all Brentford fans because the undefeated streak is looking like it's continuing and they are going second. 47 points if they can now see out these remaining 15 minutes against the 10 men of Swansea. Fosu with the goal. They've played this one well, Brentford, and they now have the lead. Let's get your comments coming. Uh, one nil says Harvey Brentford coming. Uh, damn it! Uh, what did you say about bringing on a fullback? Uh, Forum did the same against Bournemouth. Um, I didn't say anything about bringing on a fullback, did I? Um, here's Henry into the box. Good challenge by uh, Low. Um, come on, you bees! Come on, you bees! Come on, you bees! Um, Clem says terrible from the defenders. I I don't agree with that, um, Clem. I think that was the third or fourth phase of the attack and they just got deeper and deeper and narrower and narrower. Just needed someone to clear it. And in the end, when that final cross came in, they were just overloaded too close to their own goal, uh, weren't they? Uh, Fosu was just 750 grand from Oxford at the same time as Baptiste. Uh, a Brentford still unbeaten in the league since the dawn of time. I think they're 16 unbeaten or something uh, crazy like that. Right. Uh, Marcus Force has come on. I don't know who for. Uh, Joseph is happy with this one. Tim says, huge win. Come on, bees. Not a huge win yet, but hot, hot, hot favourites now are Brentford. 1-0 up. 13 minutes of normal time to go. They've pushed and they've pushed Brentford in this game. Uh, Swansea, I believe, still 
have not had a shot on target. But that's a very cheap free kick given away by Sorensen, putting his hands on Jamal Lowe. So Swansea now, real good chance for them to put the ball into the box here. Sorensen with the foul on low. Uh, Harvey says, still time yet. There is. And a set play, Hurahan. First chance really for him to deliver one with his left foot. I you think he's going to swing this one in? Horrible conditions, good delivery. Uh, in it comes from Hurahan. It is a good delivery and it's into the net. Wow. The equaliser comes. I think it might have gone straight in. Uh, from Swansea, from Hurahan, I think. That's all it takes is a good delivery and Brentford will be so, so disappointed with that one. They finally got themselves in front. It's such a cheap free kick in the first instance. It's Sorensen. Um, he's got cover as well and he um, manhandles low, puts it in. Uh, the free kick is Bidwell that jumps with Raya. I don't think Raya is strong enough there, I don't know whether Bidwell touches it or whether Hurahan's free kick has just gone straight into the goal. But Swansea have equalised and Steve Cooper will um, think Christmas has come early there. They will have thought, my God, how are we getting back into that? But free kick, swing it into the box and the equaliser um, is there for Swansea. Uh 2-0 to Rotherham. Wow, goodness me. Uh, get in, says MXD. 2-0 uh, Rotherham. Uh, Skipper, I think you need to leave your bias at the door, matey, there. I think goalkeeper's just weak, isn't he? I don't see a foul there um, at all. Let's go, says uh, Large Tomato. Uh, Sheffield United, 1-0. Uh, spoke too early here, yeah, Tim. All your fault. And Rotherham going 2-0 up. Wow. Let's have a look at the league table. Um, the live league table. There are 10 to go in uh, this one. Remember, a draw is not the end of the world for either team, but Brentford having got a goal up with um, playing against 10 men. Goodness me, they would have expected to see that one out. Uh, there is the bottom of the table, not looking good for Sheffield Wednesday. Rotherham are 2-0 up and looking for a second straight away win. Where on earth is that away form? Uh, come from for them. Swansea and Brentford, as you were when it was nil-nil for such a while. Uh, Borough really choking in seven for their home form. And Barnsley pegged back to 2-2. Two, two. Um, so our only three pointers at the moment is going to be Coventry. Uh, Jensen tries to find Fosu and booted into the ground there um, by, I think it was Roberts, was it? Uh, Swansea just want to try and kill this one, won't they? Uh, time left bits. I'm at 80 27 on my feed. Uh, can a day get any more perfect? Ben, 10 days after it said I tested positive, had another hospital and tested negative. Good for you, my friend. Did they vaccinate you? Uh, low shepherds that one out, or does he? Yes, he does. No, uh, the ball's still live. Fosu uh, keeps. That one going. Well played, Henry, to keep it in in the first instance. Uh, Fosu stands up his man. Uh, Jensen. Jensen to Fosu. Fosu on the left wing against Roberts. Fosu crosses that one in looking for uh, Tony. It's gone to De Silva. De Silva uh, steps into the box, puts it across low. Good handling there by Freddie Woodman. Uh, we'll put that one to the chat. Uh, DJ Skipper, an um, un, unashamed Brentford fan there, thinks that was a foul on the goalkeeper. Um, we'll, we'll let the chat decide there. I thought Ray, I like Raya a lot, but just not strong enough there. It's right close to his line. He's got to come out and gather that one. It's a good delivery. I think it's poor from um, Raya. I've only seen one replay, I have to say, but that was my first instance. Let me know what you think in the chat. Uh, Chris says, yet again, Raya lets Brentford down in a big game. But it's not over yet. It is not all over yet. Janelt. 
De Silva. Uh, Swansea just sitting back in that 4-4-1. Classic 10-man formation. Uh, Jensen plays that one back to De Silva. Can they create a big chance, De Silva? Not like that. Comes inside, blasts it way, way over the top. Manchester United nil, Sheffield United one. Keen Bryan. Wow. gone. Will Thomas Frank shake hands on a draw or is he going to go all out for the victory here? Jensen traveling down the line. Does he keep that one in? He does. Uh, Tony, quick throw in. He did not take that from anywhere near where it was. That's actually good refereeing um, there. Tried to um, steal about 10 yards on the throw in there and throw that one in behind. Here is Janelt. Uh, Janelt to Dalsgaard. Back to Janelt. To Jensen. Jensen down the line to Rico Henry. Can he get a decent crossover? Henry knocks it back to Fosu. Fosu to Henry. Henry, good feet. Stands up low. Henry crosses that one in. And it's out for another throw. Quickly taken by Rico Henry. Jensen. This time he crosses it in towards the near post. Force is there. Uh, Fosu. Janelt takes it off him. Spilt. Oh! And it's a corner. Um, I think it's Force was in the middle of the box. He's appealing for handball. I thought it, initially it hit his own man there. Oh, Swansea flying by the seat of their pants there. No, that's not handball. It hits Gway on the back, doesn't it? Let's have another look. Oh, that's hard to see, actually. It may have hit his arm, but um, he's sliding in. I'm not sure he was in an unnatural position. Certainly wasn't deliberate, uh, but unnatural will do for you. Arm in like that. Uh, in goes the corner low and a foul given. Love to see another uh, view of that one. What are you guys saying in the comments? What are we saying here? I heard Ben say it was okay, so I believe Ben. There we go. You know I don't get too dressed, stressed, and generally you are annoyingly right. <laughs> well done, Skipper. Um, goalkeepers get too much protection. Yes, they needed to protect it, but also like they're untouchable. Indeed. He's not calling handball on that one. No, I don't think it. I don't think it was. Was it? Um, I haven't seen him. His arm would have had to have been at least out like that, rather than like that, wouldn't it? So, uh, Saman Godos has come on for Vitali Janelt. Godos did play in central midfield the other day to the you know in one of the midfield three, not slap bang in the middle. So I'm guessing Jensen will tuck in in central midfield, and Godos will play slightly to. His left, and De Silva will stay where he is. Um, am I right? I don't know. Hard to tell yet. Uh, Andre Ayu is down, and I suspect will now stay down for as long as he possibly, possibly can. Uh, Swansea are definitely going to want to kill time in this one. Uh, let's have a look at what happened. Um, Saranson jumps with him. Uh, his left arm is kind of down here. He's way above um, Ayu. But, um, oh, did I see some blood there? I hope Ayu's okay. Um, perhaps I did or perhaps I didn't. No, it's just, sorry. I saw a big red thing in some cellophane uh, there. Uh, they're just doing the concussion protocol on Andre Ayu. So expect 
five minutes stoppage time um, now because um, the game is dead at the moment. Miller's been excellent. Second half, says Ian. Going to get a good win there. Uh, Andre Ayu sits up. No blood to speak of. Ryan Manning is going to come on. I suspect one of the central midfielders who's been booked, Hurahan or Fulton, will come off. And um, uh, Ayu's being a bit naughty here because Sorensen clearly didn't elbow him. He's trying to persuade the referees doing that and yelling and screaming. I think a bit of gamesmanship from Ayu here. No American kid yet, Bits. I don't think we're going to see Jordan Morris, the new Swansea signing. Apparently Everton have taken the lead. Thank you, Leeds 2020-21. Um, James Rodriguez. AU is up. And he's managed to kill two whole minutes with that, AU. He's no fool, is he? <laughs> the Brentford bench just laughing. They know what's happening, don't they? Ayu's now taking ages to get off the pitch so they can't restart the game. Um, there should be an extra three minutes probably added for that one. We shall see. 88.35 on the clock now. Expect a fair bit of extra stoppage time because of that. It's fed into the box. Godos uh, tries to put it across. Deflected out. Corner. Ayu trots back on. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Um, I thought I saw some blood um, initially, but they cleaned that up nice and quickly. Uh, clipped in to the back post, the corner, headed out by Cabango. Probably didn't need to touch that, actually. It looked like it was going all the way out. But he takes no chances. 89-13 gone. We probably would have expected three or four minutes stoppage time. We'll probably get five or six now after um, Ayu just going down. There, another corner for Brentford. Jensen's going to take 89.30 on the clock. Uh, clipped in. Oh, good clearance from on the floor there. Smashed in again by Josh De Silva, who just lacked a bit of composure. There, there was a really good clearance. I think it might have been Mark Gwaii. He's laying on the floor and he just flips out his leg and gets it clear. That's uh, poor from De Silva, actually. Real lack of composure there. Laces it over the top. Um, Jamal Lowe off. Ryan Manning on. I think that tells you everything you need to know. So um, five minutes of stoppage time um, have just started. Five minutes minimum stoppage time as Jamal Lowe very slowly trots off. Manning comes off. Um, looks like Manning's going to play in. He's going to play right side of midfield. Uh, presumably, he's just going to have to run up and down with Rico Henry for the entire entirety of stoppage time. Coventry go 2-0 up. Wow. Uh, good day for Coventry. Bad day for Sheffield Wednesday. Losing 2-0 to Coventry. Rotherham are winning also. We'll have a look at the live league table. Very good. I 100% agree with John. Doesn't look good for Wednesday. Uh, well played, Cov. Good to see them winning. Uh, I think it might be Wednesday, Hipstreet's next season. Jim, I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. Um, good luck to you, though. <laughs> uh, slid down the line. Nice little back heel to De Silva. De Silva clips that into the box when there was a ball onto Henry. Not the right choice by De Silva, who's just lost his concentration a little bit. He was playing very well earlier in the game, but a um, bit of a lack of composure the last minute from him. Big fan of the player. Don't pile in on me. Uh, four minutes added time for Ian, who won't... Who won't thank me for saying Rotherham should be home and hosed at 2 0? Stranger things have happened. Fosu down the left. Back to Jensen. Jensen plays that one inside to Sorensen and Pinnock. Pinnock wide right. Swansea all back. Two banks of four behind the ball. Uh, crossed in. Henry on the back post. Good block. Again. Oh. And Connor Roberts has gone down, clutching his wrist. Um, 
They have indulged, let's just say, a little bit, Swansea, in the dark arts in this game. A few tactical fouls, a bit of time-wasting going on now. You don't blame them, but you do hope, if you're a Brentford fan, that the ref would pick up on um, this and add the correct amount of time. I know all teams do it. I am aware of that. But um, Roberts, I'm sure, is absolutely fine and will be absolutely fine when this corner comes in. Wow. Rotherham are 3-0 up. Sensational. Ryan Giles on his debut. Goodness me. Uh, clipped in from the corner. Tony, surely that's a high foot. And guess what? Down goes a Swans player and he's staying down. That's <laughs> Mark Gray. To be fair, um, the foot was high by Ivan Tony. As we come up 93 minutes, uh, Woodman will... Try and take about 45 seconds to take this goal kick, you would imagine. As the clock ticks over 93, minimum five minutes stoppage time. I would not blame referee Brooks for adding on another one on top of that. So don't be surprised if the clock does go over 95. Uh, here's Ayu for Swansea. And he plays a sensible ball back. Um, Bidwell plays it home to Woodman, who blasts it down the ground. Ooh, Manning um, nearly got in behind. He's picked up the ball, actually. Uh, Jensen comes in. Fulton, Grimes, good play by Swansea um, into the corner. Oh, it's just gone out. Um, <laughs> Connor Roberts off the pitch, catches the ball and just throws it away down the line. Some grade A S housery from Swansea to defend this 0-0. Uh, Roberts is rightly booked. <laughs> Booked for that. I'm not having a go at Swansea. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. <laughs> uh, it's played right uh, to Dalsgaard, who clips it down the line. Good cover by Fulton there. 94.07 on the clock here. Back with David Raya. Raya to Jensen. Brentford go long. Seconds remaining. That's going all the way out. Not even Rico Henry can keep that one in. Um, he might have put it out for a throw-in, though. Uh, just overhit um, that pass forward. Um, Matthias Jensen. Oh, it is a goal kick. <laughs> Ivan Tony literally goes and gets the ball and puts it down for Woodman, who's taking as long as humanly possible. Miller's end. 3-0. Well done, Rotherham. Great win, that. Coventry full-time. They've won 2-0 as well. Right. The minimum stoppage time is up, 95. Let's see how long on top of that referee Brooks will add. <laughs> Steve Cooper immediately waves at the ref to say full-time. Um, wishful thinking, given uh, some of the S-housery we've seen. Um, again, not picking on Swansea. Everybody does it. Uh, here's Pinnock. Pinnock wide. There surely is time just to play a long ball forward. And it is full time and engrossing. Watch this one. It is Swansea one, Brentford one. And believe you me, two blooming durable teams, uh, both of them, to get through that without either of them losing. Brentford, of course, should have won uh, on the balance of play going 1-0 up after Swansea went down to 10 men. But Swansea just durable as hell defensively, aren't they? And they get a draw, which is not the end of the world for either side here. If you're a, a Norwich fan, uh, you probably don't care too much. But if you're a, certainly a Watford fan, a Reading fan or a Bournemouth fan, that's a good result. But Brentford do still have their own destiny in their own hands with the games in hand that they've got. There is uh, what we think is a correct league table with all of those results taken into account. So Swansea um, go back into second above Watford. Brentford, as I say, it's not the end of the world for um, either side that Brentford are in fourth still, but the game in hand would take them into third with a victory. Who's it against? Bristol City, isn't it? I think. Um, looking further down, Middlesbrough lost. They're in seventh. Um, and Barnsley were pegged back for a 2-2 against Cardiff. 
so they are in 12th. They stay put. Uh, Cardiff themselves must have moved up a place. No, they yes, they must have um, passed Millwall into 15th, given the goal differences there. Coventry, um, really good day for Coventry, really good day for Rotherham. Both of those sides win in that bottom eight. Bad day for Sheffield Wednesday, who lost and are now four points behind Rotherham, six points behind Derby. The tide is rising at the bottom. We said this for a while. Now, look at that. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, 10 points in five. Rotherham, seven in three. Derby, nine in five. Forest, eight in five. Tide really rising at the top. Uh, you don't want to be the only team down there not scoring many points. Right, let's wrap this up by having a look at your comments. Um, really, really good stuff um, of that one. Uh, let's have a look at what you are saying. <laughs> Football is so unfair. At least I haven't got a long wet drive home. Good night. Not the end of the world at all for either team. A draw um, there. Played poorly, but dug in. Durable is the word for Swansea today, wasn't it? Uh, great performance by Rotherham. It sounds like brilliant stuff by the Millers. Um, Ian says, Ola Sunday, Crooks and Smith. Excellent. Um, James, pleased to see Coventry back in the championship, holding their own as well. Good result for the Swans. Yes. Uh, Caleb says, played like um, SHIT, got a red card. I'll take a draw. Absolutely. Uh, James says, first draw under Ishmael. Uh, when was Rotherham's last two away wins on the bounce? In the championship, God, how many years have you got? I'll take a draw, says uh, Sam. Some of the Norwich fans happy with that one as well. David, a Watford fan. Um, they'll all be happy with that one. Although still, um, if you're Watford, Reading or um, Bournemouth, Brentford do still have a game in hand. Brentford's destiny in their own hands and over um, most um, 5, 10, 15 games. They're the form team, obviously, over the season, though. Swansea, Norwich, Watford ahead of the Bees. Um, great result for Brentford, says Chris. In isolation, it's a good result, but context is king, and they were 1-0 up against 10 men, um, having not really conceded any chances. Um, Sam says, who do you support? We get asked every stream. Look on the door, and you will see the answer. Uh, James says, thanks for the stream as ever. Stunk of a draw from kickoff. Brentford probably should have won it, though. Uh, Ian is buzzing. Um, Sam, you don't have to put the same comment 10 times in the stream. You'll annoy everybody. Um, great result for Rotherham. Colin won't be happy. He will not. James, enjoy the stream. Thank you, sir. Birmingham in trouble. Birmingham could be that side where the tide is rising who may sink. Um, but... It's a championship. Who knows what the hell will happen? Um, Neil, uh, watching Barnsley, game of two halves. Barnsley dominating the first half. Cardiff edged it in uh, the second. Always enjoy the stream when we win. There we go, Ian. Uh, shocking performance from us, says Harry. Uh, we needed big time against the side like Coventry, I assume. That's from, a, yeah, that is a Wednesday fan. Not good for Wednesday. Uh not giving Brent for the three points is more important than us not getting the points. Uh, Brickan, uh, draw isn't what we were looking for, but I was begging for a draw by the end. There you go. Nice one, Ben, says uh, Dale. Uh, too early to be talking about destiny in your own hands. Um, no, no, it's not, Richard. Absolutely not. Um, when you're talking about context, um, a game in hand makes a draw okay. So, no, totally disagree. I know there's plenty of twists to come, but definitely not too early. Um, because the draw has a different context with the game in hand than it does um, without the game in hand. So disagree on that one, Richard, my friend. Um, all opinions are um, valid over here, though. Hello to Swansea. Um, there we go. Uh, Chris, uh, simply Brentford should have won, but Swansea very resilient. I'm going with durable today. Uh, Barnsley hadn't drawn in 20. Cardiff hadn't in 13. Bees now unbeaten in 17. Uh, get those points in the bag. A move up, says Tim. Um, I think we are all there. Um, brilliant stream tonight. Really great stuff in the chat. I think we've had fans from literally every team up in that top half uh, somewhere in the chat tonight, even with teams not playing. Thank you so, so much to the Super Chatters that essentially funded the Swans TV tenor 
that I had to pay. Very, very kind. If you do want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon. That is the best way, patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. Extra content going on there, and we're working towards having a regular weekly schedule. We've got one on YouTube. As we build up Patreon, we'll add one to Patreon as well. It has to become viable first before we can uh, di divert the time that way. Let me know if you want to shout out in the chat before we go. Before you go, please hit the thumbs up button on YouTube. Just takes a second, but helps out the channel big style. Thank you again to all of the super chatters. It was Swansea 1, Brentford 1, not the end of the world for either side. Swansea will definitely be the happier, but a long, long way to go. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. And all that remains for me to do is say a big thank you. One more for Charlie there, our fan sponsor for the Watch Alongs. And it is over and out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. To see more videos from this channel, hit the subscribe button. And to be notified every time we upload, ring the bell for those notifications to come through on your device. If you really want to support the channel and me as a content creator, I will be eternally grateful if you head over to the merch store and grab something or support over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. Thank you for your time. Go and watch another video.